What if Anakin was the chosen one? Let's begin today's story on Tatooine, where Anakin is found by Qui-Gon who deems him to be the chosen one based on his high midi-chlorine count. Qui-Gon's suspicions were confirmed when Anakin won the Boonta Eve pod race, something that only the best of the best can win, not the 9 year old human boy. The young Anakin is taken back to Coruscant, where Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan plead their case to the Jedi Council, revealing the existence of the Sith. Despite Qui-Gon's dying wish to train Anakin as a Jedi, the Council is hesitant due to his age and the fear of the dark side within him. They are sent back to Naboo where they fight the Trade Federation. In a climactic battle, Anakin helps the Naboo forces liberate their planet from the Trade Federation's control. Qui-Gon is murdered by Darth Maul before Obi-Wan slices the Sith in half, sending him down the reactor shaft to his doom. After a conversation with Obi-Wan, Yoda agrees to let the boy into the Order, knowing that it was Qui-Gon's dying wish. From here, Anakin would undergo training from Obi-Wan for 10 years, becoming an extremely powerful and well-equipped Jedi Knight. The galaxy is on the brink of war, with tension rising, Padme Amidala, now a senator, narrowly survives an assassination attempt orchestrated by the Separatists. Jedi Knight Obi-Wan Kenobi and his apprentice Anakin Skywalker are assigned to protect her. When Anakin accompanies Padme back to Naboo, the two would begin to spend much more time together. They reminisce about the past and after long, their feelings rekindle. They share a kiss that never should have happened and chase each other through the grassy plains of Naboo. They are in love. Whilst this is happening, Obi-Wan investigates the source of the assassination attempts. He discovers a secret clone army being created for the Republic on the remote planet of Kamino. Meanwhile, Anakin's emotions continue to spiral out of control and he has dreams of his mother suffering on Tatooine. Obi-Wan's investigation leads him to the discovery of a conspiracy orchestrated by the Sith who seek to manipulate both sides of the conflict. These events would culminate on Geonosis, where Obi-Wan is captured by Count Dooku and Anakin and Padme mount a daring rescue. A massive battle ensues between the Republic's clone army and the Separatist droid forces, marking the beginning of the Clone Wars. Anakin and Obi-Wan would chase Dooku, where Anakin is blasted by lightning and loses an arm and Kenobi gets sliced down. Luckily, before their deaths, Yoda arrives and saves them, entering a fight with Dooku where neither of them are able to kill the other. Despite this battle concluding, the Clone Wars had begun and the galaxy would be thrust into complete and utter chaos. Anakin and Padme would get married and their love story had officially begun. Our story continues three years later, with the Clone Wars raging across the galaxy. Anakin Skywalker, now a Jedi Knight, has become a renowned hero and poster boy for the Republic. He was able to kill Count Dooku aboard the Invisible Hand, where he cuts his hands off and, against the Jedi Code, decapitated him. However, when he returns, he is haunted by visions of his wife, Padme Amidala, dying in childbirth. Chancellor Palpatine, secretly the Sith Lord Darth Sidious, manipulates Anakin's fears and desires, promising him the power to save Padme from death. He tells the Jedi the story of Darth Plagueis the Wise, a Sith Lord who could use the midi-chlorians to save others. When Anakin is denied the rank of Master, his loyalty to the Jedi Order is tested and he begins to question the Jedi Council's authority. Anakin's descent into darkness accelerates when he learns that Palpatine is a Sith Lord. Conflicted and desperate to save Padme, Anakin succumbs to the dark side, killing Mace Windu and pledging himself to Palpatine as his apprentice, becoming Darth Vader. Palpatine executes Order 66, turning the clones against the Jedi as Anakin leads an assault on the Jedi Temple, slaughtering his former comrades including younglings. The entire Jedi Order is purged and falls before Anakin and the clones. Obi-Wan and Yoda are able to survive, and when they sneak back into the Jedi Temple, they learn that it was Anakin and Palpatine that had committed this devastation. Obi-Wan goes to find Anakin, whilst Yoda goes to Emperor Palpatine. Finding Anakin on Mustafar, the Chosen One chokes and almost kills Padme, fully placing himself in the dark side. Meanwhile, Yoda fights Sidious and the duel comes extremely close. Both strong force users, but ultimately, Palpatine is able to beat Yoda and force him into exile. Anakin and Obi-Wan would face off on the volcanic planet in a heartbreaking duel. 
both masters of the force, the fight was fast and vigorous, and either side could have won. But Anakin's arrogance got the better of him, and he attempted to use the same trick Obi-Wan did against Darth Maul, allowing Kenobi to strike his brother-like friend down. Anakin is left maimed and severely injured, his body consumed by lava. Palpatine rescues Anakin and encases him in his iconic black armor, completing his transition into Darth Vader. As the newly appointed Emperor, Palpatine consolidates his power, transforming the Republic into the tyrannical Galactic Empire. Padme, heartbroken by Anakin's fall, dies after giving birth to twins, Luke and Leia. Obi-Wan and Yoda make the decision to split the twins up, sending Luke to Tatooine and Leia to Alderaan, knowing that they have to be kept hidden and safe until they are old enough to strike back. Two decades pass and the galaxy is well and truly suffering. Sidious and Vader have become tyrants in the galaxy and show no mercy to anyone. Luke Skywalker, after being hidden on Tatooine for two decades, finally learns that he has the abilities of a Jedi. Joining Obi-Wan after his aunt and uncle are killed, they embark on a quest to save a princess from the Death Star. Little did they know, this princess was his sister. With the help of their friends, including a smuggler and a big hairy Wookiee, they save the princess and escape the Death Star. Unfortunately, Obi-Wan encounters his old friend Anakin Skywalker, where he is murdered. Years pass and Luke has been training. He is now a formidable Jedi. He trains with Yoda who enhances his skills even further, but when Luke goes to Cloud City, he learns that Darth Vader is his father and that Yoda and Obi-Wan had lied to him. Luke succumbs to his fate and falls down the long shaft beneath him, narrowly escaping death. The story continues with Luke Skywalker one year later, now a fully trained Jedi Knight, leading the rebellion in a final assault against the Empire. The Emperor, Darth Sidious, has constructed a second Death Star capable of annihilating entire planets and the rebels must destroy it to secure victory. Meanwhile, Han Solo, Leia Organa, Chewbacca, and the droid C-3PO and R2-D2 embark on a perilous mission to deactivate the shield generator, protecting the Death Star. Luke confronts Vader, speaking to him about being his father. He attempts to turn his father back to the light, but to no avail. Now, he will be brought directly to the Emperor. As the Rebels launch their assault on the Death Star, Luke confronts Vader and the Emperor aboard the battle station. In a climactic lightsaber duel, Luke refuses to succumb to the dark side, even as the Emperor attempts to turn him against his father. Meanwhile, on Endor, the Rebel strike team, aided by the Ewoks, engages Imperial forces in a desperate battle. Han Solo and his team manage to destroy the shield generator, allowing the Rebel fleet to launch a final attack on the Death Star. In the throne room on the Death Star, Luke defeats Vader and cuts his hand off. However, when the Emperor congratulates him and tries to manipulate him into killing his father, he refuses. This causes Palpatine to blast Luke with lightning and try to kill him. Vader, conflicted by his love for his son, ultimately rejects the dark side and sacrifices himself to save Luke from the Emperor's wrath. With Vader's redemption, the Emperor is defeated and the Death Star is destroyed. The Rebellion emerges victoriously. The galaxy celebrates as the Empire's grip is finally broken and freedom is restored. Luke returns to celebrate with his friends on Endor, where he sees the Force Ghosts of Anakin Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, and Yoda. Anakin Skywalker was able to destroy the Sith, completing his destiny as the Chosen One and bringing balance to the Force.